All right, welcome everybody to Halloween. Uh, so uh, I've been asked by a few students um, where they can learn more about Unreal Engine. And uh, game dev is a huge industry. Like in, in learning, well, you can't even learn all the things, but like just trying to just get to a certain level of competency, there's just a lot to it. And that's why I encourage you guys to take second semester game dev as well to continue your, your learning process. But uh, these are three uh, YouTubers that I recommend. Um, you know, when I take a lunch break, I'll usually just randomly play one of their videos and see if I can learn something. And I usually do. They're, they're all really good. So Ryan Lilly and Matt Asplin do a lot of uh, gameplay stuff. Like if you want to learn how to make an inventory system or a grappling hook or something like that, uh, they, they got your back on the blueprint side of things. And then Prismatica Dev, um, uh, he does, uh, he, his channel is called, uh, five minute materials, I think. And, uh, he does a lot of materials, uh, stuff and, uh, it's, they're all, they're all really good. I highly recommend them, um, for sure. So, uh, here we are back inside of our game and, um, what I want to do today is, uh, maybe do some like reactive materials and things like that so that, um. Um, maybe we can make a little puzzle or something like that. And, uh, maybe like a Simon Says thing. I don't know. Like, uh, or maybe, I don't know. Let's, let's just see. Let's just see where the spirit moves me today. So we've got all these bad guys and they're kind of annoying. Um, they keep interrupting me when I'm trying to lecture. Let's build a little wall here. Let's see if they still, oh, I moved my starting location. That's right. Kick them out of the room. This guy comes over here. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. That's working. Okay. Uh, let's flamethrower him to death. I got toss a grenade up there. And I'm dead. Not good. So what I was thinking is we can do some stuff with like maybe materials and um, maybe use this area of the map over here. Have something that like maybe reacts to the player when you walk over it, does different things, maybe a puzzle of some sort. If you guys have an idea, uh, toss it out there. Every every semester I do different stuff. So let's just start with a blank blueprint class. Actor, why not? And we will call this puzzle underscore BP. Something Halloween-y. It is Halloween, isn't it? Okay, so maybe, hmm, orange, like do something orange. And, hmm, maybe the first time somebody walks on it, it turns black. And then if somebody walks over it after it's black, they die. I don't know. Well, what, what do you guys think? We can do... We can do a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, we could have a, uh, we could have like a pumpkin, something, pumpkin explosion. Huh? Uh, if you touch the pumpkin and it explodes, I don't know. We kind of got a grenade already. Like that's kind of, kind of the same thing. We could just switch out the, uh, we just switch out the model of the grenade, right? Like we could replace the, um, we could replace the grenade with like an actual free pumpkin model that we find online. We could be like the green goblin or something. Yeah. Uh, now let's do, let's do something different. Um, having a hard time joining. Sorry. Give me a minute. Uh, okay. Let's just, let's just try something. Let's just open this thing up and maybe if you guys find like a picture of like a pumpkin, like a 2d picture of like a cartoony pumpkin or something like that. Thinking of, I got ideas percolating in my head right now. Um, you have the pumpkin expander track inside. Uh, well, I want to have something that like, I, I guess where my creativity is going right now is I, I want to have some sort of puzzle that could kill the player, but at the same time we could set it up as a trap for the. Or the monster because the monsters are kind of annoying me right now right 
trying to lecture and they keep getting in my way. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Let's see what we got here. I can't run out of a cube. Run out of scale. Pumpkin bombs like the hobgoblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right. Let's work with that. can add a light point light maybe that okay move this guy up maybe five meters up and the color the orange maybe and then we can add maybe a box trigger it and this can be called the trigger know, something like that. Uh, and then something like this maybe and if the player walks over it We could have the trap prime itself. Hmm. That orange light is not very visible. Uh, hmm. right, so let's make a new material. This will be called the puzzle box puzzle puzzle mat. Why not? And it could be emissive. We can have it emit uh, constant three, or maybe we can make it a parameter. Uh, start with the constant though. And we can have it emit orange light. That. And we can multiply it, make it brighter, make it 10 times as orange as orange has ever been. Radioactive orange, like that. And then this guy here can be puzzle, puzzle orange, save. And now we have this glowy kind of thing. Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to do? What do we want to do with them? Maybe, 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 maybe we walk over it. Walk over it. New material puzzle two mat and for this one we'll do a light function and it's gonna emit a texture sample. Did I import the pumpkin? I don't think I did. Uh, should probably put the materials whatever. So import. PNG, a little squishied, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna import uh, texture, pumpkin. Oh, interesting, we actually have, we actually have a realistic pumpkin, that's crazy, okay, oh, whatever. We got this guy here, uh, it's kind of squished, whatever, all right. Um, take the output of that, multiply it by 20. 
So puzzle BP U over here, light color, let's do light function, puzzle map two, save, compile. Kind of need a dark area, don't we? Something there. Do like the outline of the of the pumpkin, I guess. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, it's just really big. All right, so puzzle two. Uh, let's do a text chord over here. There. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I kind of like that. Okay. So, so uh, let me explain what this is. So, uh, when you have a function that is a light function, you can actually have a uh, picture be projected out from your light. And so, over here on the light, I added the puzzle two mat. Puzzle 2 mat is just the pumpkin multiplied by 20. And I can play with that maybe and see if that makes it look a little more reasonable. Okay, good. And so the uh, it's tiled like a lot. Um, let's see, I wonder if. Hmm. I should rotate it or something because it's kind of coming out correct down out here. It looks a little weird. Anyhow, I like it. It's nice and spooky. Okay, that's a good Halloween. That's a good Halloween thing. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So text chord nodes allow you to change how often a texture tiles. So this with three, it tiles three times as often as before. I just had it at five. And so you can see it's bigger now, right? Spooky. Right. Here. Yeah, you can't really see the, the pumpkin on the wood, unfortunately. Uh, maybe we'll just put it up, put it up to here or something. Okay. So we got that. Um, so we want to make it so that when the player, when the player walks on it, it will enable a trap. And then when the monster walks on it, it kills the monster. So maybe do we do this. Can you guys find me like a, a witch's cackling sound, like a, a free copyright free version of a witch's sound? Is it too scary for you? I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe we can make this a little bit bigger even. And maybe we make it a little bit brighter as well. Let's see if that helps. Oh, that's way too big. Yeah. You can kind of, yeah. That's way too big. Okay, 
so maybe when we start off, the ground is glowing. We can up that a little bit. Just like that. And then when the player steps on it, then the light turns on. And uh, maybe just a little bit. There we go. It's like it'll be it'll be off by default, and then you walk in, all these like scary pumpkin faces appear around you. And then the next person to walk on top of it, whether it's the player or a monster, will die instantly. The witch's pumpkin curse or something like that. All right. Okay, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Okay. So that means by default, when we start, uh, begin play, we will disable the point light. Or we just set it to be hidden by default, visible off. And then when somebody begins overlapping us, we could set visible to be true, set visibility to be true. Like that. File save. So by default, the uh, the light is not on. And then when we overlap it, it should like that. Cool. And then it doesn't turn on again. The Baron Cackle. I like that. I like that a lot. I like both of those. All right. I will download both of those and have it randomly picked. It's got the Baron's Cackle here, and we got the Witch's Hee 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 here. Oh, it's an MP3. Uh, Rodell, you need to convert that to Wave for me, please. Uh, Unreal Engine will import an MP3 and also not do anything with it because it doesn't have the license, I think, it, or at least it used to require copyright. So, uh, uh, Rodell, if you could find, you can find a website where it does like MP3 to wave, wave conversion. Okay. So we've done that and, uh, we should probably have a variable that is like uh, trap enabled like that. And do we want it to be public? Yeah, maybe we do. So that the, um, out here, like we could start with the trap, you know, on by default, right? Uh, wherever that is. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Why are you not showing? Puzzle VP, trap enabled, it's public. Compile first, thank you. Okay, there we go. So you can start with it, the uh, trap on or the trap off. Okay. Ooh, the light's not going to be on. So we need to do. Event begin. Let event begin. If the trap is enabled on begin. Then we will set the visibility to be true. Actually, we don't need the branch to make that. Just uh, when we begin, we just set, we just set it like that. Okay, cool. So when we begin, we just grab whether or not it's enabled at the beginning. The preview node, it's not gonna preview properly, but good enough. So we're gonna assume these things are off by default. Okay. All right, um, yeah, so we can start with it on or we can start with it off and the, the level designer can choose which one of those they want. Aha, which dot wave, thank you, save that. Import which in the Baron I'll rename you Baron dot wave and which dot wave. We're gonna import both of you guys. Open, thank you. Save all assets. Now we are going to make a new audio cue sound cue. And this will be called, where is it? Where, where are you at? New sound cue. Okay. This will be called cackle dot cure. <laughs> cackle cue. Okay. All 
All right, so when it enables, it will randomly pick um, one of two of these guys. So we'll do a little bit of importing over here. And the Baron Is that not Dragon. Okay. okay, so it'll randomly pick between the Witch and the Baron. And then we can run this through a modulator. I always like modulators. There, Q up there, Q, thank you, and that'll slightly vary the tone and the volume every time you do it, uh, which makes it sound a little bit more realistic. It's not always the exact same cackling, like sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower. <laughs> and we can exaggerate this even probably a little bit. <laughs> We have a very high pitched giggle that time. <laughs> and a lower pitch one. Good. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, you can add some echo. Whatever. That's good. Good enough. All right. So, puzzle BP. Okay. So, if we begin overlap, what we need to do is check to see if the trap's enabled now. Uh, so get trap enabled and do a little branchy poo here. And if the trap is enabled, then we just kill the person or whatever it is that, that walked over us. Uh, if it's not enabled, then we set the visibility to be true. So it's not enabled. We turn the light on. We're going to play the sound, play sound at location. And it's going to be our location, the location of the, uh, I don't know, the crew, why not? The world location. Nope, that's not it. What happened there? Get world location. Thank you. All right. So we're going to get the location. We're going to play the sound at the location of the, the trigger box there. And we're going to play the cackle cue like that. Okay. So when we walk over it, uh, it is going to turn the light on. It's going to play the cackle. And then we need to enable uh, traffic. So set you to be true. 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 There we go. Cue. Line them all up. There we go. If it's already enabled, then we need to um, turn off the light, uh, maybe do an explosion or something. Uh, spawn emitter, so explosion. Yikes, it's right there, I think. I'll do explosion. At our location, we'll do a little explosion there, and we'll play sound allocation. Explosion sound, sanitation. And then we will disable trap enabled. So it's turned off. And we will turn off the light as well. So the point light is going to have its visibility set. Visibility to zero. And then we also need, need to do damage. So we need to uh, move. First thing we need to do is damage. Apply damage to the damage actor, who is you. Person that touched us, they take 100 points of damage. And then we explode, play a sound, turn off the light, turn the trap off, turn off the light, and we're good to go. Okay. And maybe, maybe not quite 100, maybe we'll do like 
player might be able to survive one trap. So we walk over this. <laughs> we walk over it. Ow! Walk over it again. And then now we need to just get one of these guys to, to chase us. Come on. Come on. Come get me. Oh, he killed me. Dang it. <laughs> here, let's let's put some more of these trap boxes around here. Come and get me. <laughs> oh, he enabled it. Okay. Come on. Come get, come get me. Come get me. Death. Nice. <laughs> and he died. I'm kind of happy. I like this. Come get me. Come get me. No, no, no. He killed me. Dang it. I feel like the maybe the collision box needs to be a little bit bigger because it feels like they can kind of like brush past it without quite without quite getting hit. So two meters maybe. It's a little bit outside the thing. Come get me. Come get me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, it works. <laughs> Come on. The second I stop lecturing, they stop trying to chase me. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over you can see me, can't you? you can Whenever I'm in the lecture, like these guys always. Oh, dang it. These guys always chase after me and kill me, and then. Come on, I'm right in front of you. I'm right. Okay, here we go. 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 Right. Just scooted by. Dang it. Got him. No! <laughs> Come back. Dang it. <laughs> Darn monsters are too good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come get me, come get me, come get me. Oh, he ate it. Oh, I killed myself. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna up the damage. Do one thousand points of damage. I think we're basically done for today. We a little, little spooky Halloween <laughs> trap. Got him. <laughs> Maybe only the player should be able to enable it. Let's let's add that in. It's a little weird to hear them cackling because they're turning it on and off. So, um, actor begins overlap. So if it's not enabled currently, then we will do a cast. To third person character like that. And only if it's successful will we enable the trap. So only the player can turn the traps on, but either the player or the monster can uh, can set it off. So you have to be careful. It's a, it's a cursed trap. And we'll make another one over here. Let's see if we can 
lure them onto that one. Come get me. Come get me. Come. Seriously. Like, I'm over. There we go. There. No, 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 no. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come get me. Come get me. I'm literally in front of you. Thank you. And th this this guy, uh, I fixed him at the end of the last, the last class. He'll very slowly rotate to face you. He doesn't really do anything. Guy's stuck up there. Maybe I can add a maybe I can add a trap up there too. Barely see the pumpkin. It's so bright. Got him. Okay. Yeah. That's our class for today. So, your homework is to make a very spooky trap like that. So, uh, this one here, I will. Uh, so, Control F9. And uh, yeah, I've got a uh, graph shot now that can just output the uh, whole picture uh, like this. Cool. So I'll just toss this up on Discord for you guys. Uh, you can do this. You can do something else. Just uh, you know, do something fun uh, for Halloween. Uh, maybe maybe you'll be required to do a um, a light function because that's that's what's casting those like creepy, spooky you know, shadows on the ground. So, um, do that, have it turn the light on and off and damage people and uh, just have fun with it. It's, it's Halloween. I don't want, I don't want there to be too much homework for you guys. Okay. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you next time. Peace. Happy Halloween.